The body of 16-year-old Sarah Yarborough was found on the grounds of Federal Way High School on a cold morning in December 1991. She had gone to school that morning thinking she was late for a drill team practice. Investigators found that she had been strangled to death. They were able to collect a full male DNA profile from clothes found near her body, but at that time, DNA testing was still relatively new. 28 years later, investigators used forensic genetic genealogy to identify a possible suspect, Patrick Nicholas. They brought him in for questioning. Why do you think you're here? I have no clue. When detectives asked him specifically about Sarah's murder, he gave an alarming response. What we're investigating is, is the death of a young girl by the name Sarah Yarbrough. Yeah. Interestingly, he asked what year this was. Yeah. And that really sent up a flag. Why? Why would you ask that? He's being told this is a murder case. We're wondering at this point, are there other victims? This is it. I'm not going to say anything. No. After one and a half hours, Nicholas asked for an attorney and stopped talking. But his criminal record would speak volumes. I am the one that got away. On a quiet morning in June 1983, eight years before Sarah Yarborough's murder, 21-year-old Ann Crony was sitting by her car along the Columbia River in Richland, Washington, when a man approached her. He seemed normal. Kind of friendly, actually. Mm -hmm. Just friendly. I had asked him if he'd done any water skiing yet because he said he had just moved to town and he said he couldn't swim. And he said, my name is Pat Nicholas. After a few minutes of small talk, she became uncomfortable. I noticed his voice was getting shaky and I told him I had to go. I went to close the door and he put a knife to my throat. Everything kind of stopped at that moment. He told me to take my clothes off. Nicholas stuffed Anne's underwear into her mouth to prevent her from screaming, forced her out of the car, and led her to the riverbank. That's when Anne remembered a critical piece of information that might have saved her life. We got about halfway down the bank and he told me to stop. I ran and dove in the river because I was thinking he couldn't swim. Swam as hard as I could. Swam for your life. I swam for my life. Passersby found Anne at a dock nearby and called police. As it turns out, 19-year-old Patrick Nicholas was no stranger to law enforcement and had a record. He had raped two women and attempted to rape a third. He'd been convicted of rape as a juvenile and had actually only just been out for a few months when he attacked me. Days after Anne's attack, he was tracked down, arrested, and pled guilty to attempted rape. He told authorities, I realize that I have a problem concerning raping girls. At his sentencing hearing, Anne spoke out. I was actually very angry and asked the judge for the maximum sentence. And the judge did agree and sentenced him to 10 years. So I thought it was over. I thought that justice had been served. <laughs> 